a kidnapping aimed at attracting international attention. Indonesia needs to recognise Papua's independence. Aotearoa New Zealand pilot Philip Mertens taken hostage by West Papuan separatists. The initial condition for his release was for Indonesia to recognise the region's independence and withdraw their troops. <laughs> The fight for West Papuan independence has been going on for decades. Once a Dutch colony, Indonesia was handed control of the formerly known West Irian Jaya in the early 60s. In 1969, just over 1,000 Papuans were handpicked for a UN-backed ballot. Amid widespread reports of beatings and intimidation, the ironically named Act of Free Choice presented two options, independence or Indonesia. To the Indonesians, the result is already a foregone conclusion. West Irian will remain with Indonesia. A civil war marked by bloodshed and repression have marred the region ever since. Violent clashes between Indonesian security forces and armed pro-independence groups have left thousands dead. Some estimate that number could be as high as half a million and thousands more are estimated to be internally displaced. But it's hard to get a true picture because Indonesia has placed restrictions on the media and independent observers. Now West Pup was hoping to become a full member of the Melanesian Spearhead Group, and a meeting with Fijian Prime Minister Sitaveni Rambuka seemed hopeful, but Melanesian leaders still respect Indonesia's sovereignty. We acknowledge if there was any human rights issues, it will be dealt with from a human rights context, uh, but in terms of sovereignty issue, uh, West Papua from PNG context remains part of Indonesia and we don't want to uh, offset the uh, balance and tempo. The hostage situation involving the pilot has put West Papua back in the headlines and back in the attention of world leaders. With casualties reported on both sides, it doesn't look like this long-running conflict is going to end anytime soon. Benny Wender is a West Papuan independence leader who has continued his fight while living in exile in the UK. He's the leader of the United Liberation Movement for West Papua, which is separate to the armed wing of the Free Papua Movement. I spoke to Benny Wender earlier. Ko wa wa wa, Mr Wender, thank you for joining the Pacific. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Let's start with the hostage situation. What is your position? Yes, I clearly make uh, two statements. First, a sympathy with the family. Secondly, I demand the, the release of the, the pilots. And I also uh, offer to support the New Zealand governments uh, through the, the embassies. So that's what we are doing. And uh, underground, we're already talking with the the network, our network, to release, uh, peacefully release and uh, safely release. Uh, so that's we're already working. Mm. Indonesian authorities have taken a militarised approach to rescue the pilot, with deaths and violence being reported on both sides. How is this approach impacting ordinary people? Fear is building up among the people. In Intanjaya, Punjak Jaya, Mai Barat, and Oxibil, many people still hiding, last five years still hiding the fear. And more West Papua, more military are sending from uh, 2018 up to now. I think this is clearly Indonesia want their violence, not our, our demand. Our demand is clear, pay peacefully. And Indonesia using this uh, reason uh, to uh, deploy more military and West Papua become a militarized zone. This is a uh, remind me of my childhood, 1977, Indonesia using is uh, uh, conduct the military operations and uh, almost 300,000 were killed. The kidnapping has put an international spotlight back on West Papua. However, given its nature, does it help or hinder your fight for independence? It's not because our desire to using this uh, 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 raise the awareness, but the people already know that the solidarity in the in, in the regions in New Zealand, Australia, across the Pacific are already sympathy and solidarity with. But the, this case, we for me is really sorry, 
and uh, for the kidnapping. We are not enemy with the missionary. We are not enemy with the pilot. But Indonesia are using this as human shield. So that's why Indonesia need to stop and allow humanitarian a, a humanitarian group to to in the country. That's what our demand now. Mm. So what do you think would help the current situation and also prevent it from happening again? I think very clear. First, Indonesia allow UNI Commissioner uh, to West Papua. Secondly, Indonesia um, allow media uh, to West Papua to find, uh, you know, the situations because Indonesia always using it as the one side story. We want to say something to the world. And uh, of course, the pilot, uh, uh, Abduxander pilot, the or military wing already said we will release it peacefully and not sending more military to killing the ordinary people. We are the pilot already safe. So I think Indonesia now not send a, more military to West Papua, but I demand the president of Indonesia sit down with me uh, and uh, you know mediate by third party to discuss find a solution. That's that's the only way to to find a solution for peace for everyone in the region, in the world. That's my position, the peacefully. Mm. Can I also ask about your ambitions for full membership to the Melanesian Spearhead Group? Um, how likely do you think this is, given that some Melanesian leaders, while still acknowledging kinship ties, have said that they will respect Indonesia's sovereignty? Of course, they, the you know, diplomatically, they got a relation with Indonesia, uh, but uh, knowing that Indonesia present in West Papua is illegal, they, they are occupied our country and murdering the Melanesian people. And by the blood, by the, the race, by the regional, uh, by the linguistically, we are the entitled to become a full member of the Melanesian Spear Group. And Indonesia using the diplomacy and money and this power and to show bullying in the Melanesian Pacific. So that's why the Melanesian leader now, uh, they make own mind to, to give us, uh, you know, full membership so that we can engage with Indonesia the peacefully manner, just like Evelyn Kais and friends can sit down and talk and the Bougainville and the Papua New Guinea government sit down and talk, find the solutions and something agree to find a solution uh, to the end of the day's referendum. That's what they did. So I hope the now Indonesia opened hard to see that what happening in West Papua and so that, uh, you know, one day we can sit down at the Melanesia table to, to, to find a solution together. That's the one thing that I demand the Melanesian leaders. Mm. Now, finally, given the different approaches to independence being taken, do you think that West Papua would come together under one leader if independence was achieved? Absolutely. We are the fighting only one, one, one flag. It's West Papua flag, Morningstar flag. And we know that after independence, we will uh, good, good, uh, you know, democratic uh, country in the Pacific because we have a lot of experience and we will unite. That is why it's important that Australia and New Zealand are play important role because we know that they are uh, regional power and this is they know inside out situations in West Papua uh, and, and anybody else. Mm. Benny Wender, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you so much for your time. Wah, wah, wah. Thank you. Wah, wah, wah. Bye, bye, bye.